I'll briefly introduce the uh, screen operation of Omnic single phase product. Okay, let's take uh, Omnic 1.5 kilowatt as example. First, you have to remove the cover. Well, the screen will show you quite a lot of parameters. And well, first is the uh, inverter working status, the total generation today and the total generation from installation, the input voltage, input current, output current, grid frequency, inverter type, inverter software, software version number, language setting, uh, grid voltage, the Wi-Fi clock serial number, and IP address. When your inverter's total generation is below 1 kilowatt hours, you can change your country setting to the uh, screen and the button. Keep pressing it until you see the inverter type and long press the button until you see the country. Keep pressing it until you see the country you want to set to. Long press the button until you see OK. Now the country setting is done. Now you can connect to your AC cable. The inverter goes into countdown. When the green light's on, your inverter is working properly. Now I'll go through uh, with you the uh, inverter updating procedure. Okay, before updating, you have to disconnect your AC. And turn off the DC switch. You will need the DC on while updating. Until the light's off, remove the screws. Gently remove the Wi-Fi cord. Put aside. Connect the RS232 cord with the cable and insert it into your inverter. And connect the USB to your laptop. Then turn on the DC switch. Wait until the red light's on and the following procedure will be done on your laptop. Before you start updating your inverter, you have to install the RS232 USB driver. You can download it from our website. Just double click it and follow the steps. And now you can connect the USB to your laptop. So after finishing installing the driver, go click on Auto Flash Pro. The 
Home port will um, automatically show self, and you just choose the file you want to update your inverter. As we are using 1.5, uh, we're going to choose this one. And there are two CPUs for your inverter. One is master, and the other is the slave. We have to do one by the other. So, one by one. And this one first, click on flash. Now you wait until you finish. And after the monster's finished, now we do the same. Okay, now the inverter update is done. Okay, um, now I'm going to talk about this particular software. We have to connect to the uh, RS232 USB cable to your laptop, and so the top port will automatically show itself. So it's not open. And this part is to set the safety regulation, which you might sometimes you might happen to have the uh, Netherlands inverter in like UK or somewhere else. So if you want to set it back to the USB screen. Just click on it and click on run and wait until it's finished. And this part is to clear all the data on your inverter if you need it. And this two part is to set the uh, minimum and ma maximum AC voltage, which if you have a special need for that, so you have to set it within the product range, same as the uh, frequency and the maximum power. There is another way to update your inverter, which is using your Wi-Fi card. Just double check your Wi-Fi card serial number. Connect to your Wi-Fi card. Now open your browser. Type in 10.10.100.354. The username and password are both admin, A-D-M-I-N. Click on Upgrade. Click on Upgrade to Inverter. Specify the update to five foot. Five foot being uh, being type fire. And click on upload. Click on OK. And now you wait. Now the marks test then.
you also can use this to upgrade the firmware of the Wi-Fi card. It is much in, well, it is the same as uh, updating your emulator.